Hi there, today we'll show you how you can add and edit web links when you're using eLinks Content Creator. Part 1 How to Add Links to Posts. Once you've signed into eLink, go to your post section and click on Create New Post. You can choose from a wide array of templates or start from scratch. In this video, let's go ahead and start from scratch. On the first step of eLink's editor, you'll be adding web links. You can add any type of web link from articles, videos, websites, cloud files, social media posts, and much more. There are a few different ways you can add links. One, you can do this manually by pasting web links in this field. Once you've added a web link, you'll see how eLink will automatically turn each web link into a visual card on the right hand side. Two, you can add links from your bookmarks, which is where your saved web links have been stored. Three, you can add links from your RSS feed section. You can filter and select links from your favorite publications to add them to your post. Or four, you can upload bulk links by adding each web link on a separate line. Part two, how to edit links and posts. On the right hand side, you'll see a preview of what your tiles will look like. On the left hand side, you'll see icons on each link that will help you edit your links. You can drag your links around to rearrange their order. You'll see an option to delete and remove a link. You'll also see a bookmark icon. Click this to save important links to your bookmarks. Now let's show you how you can edit any link. Click on the pencil icon. A pop-up will display that allows you to update the title, description, and add a display label. The display label can be used to add dates, categories, or prices depending on the content you're creating. On this pop-up, you'll also be able to edit the image. You can zoom in, zoom out, drag your image, scale to fit, or upload your own image that best represents the content you're sharing. Once you're done, click Save. You'll see that your updates have been made on the right-hand side. If you don't see a title, description, or display label reflected, it's because you've chosen a template that has a different layout. To change this, click on the Layout tab and select the best layout for your post. As you continue building, you can add a header banner, header text, and footer text. You can update your template layout at any time, even after it's been published. You can also click on the Settings tab and update your colors, fonts, and button text for your content. Again, your settings will be reflected accordingly whether your template shows those elements. Once you're done creating, you can hit Publish and share it with your world as a single web page, email newsletter, or publish on your website. Part 3. How to add links via eLinks browser extensions. We recommend that you download eLinks browser extensions so you can save web links on the go. We have an eLink Chrome extension that can be used on Chrome, Edge, and Brave. You can even download and use eLinks Firefox extension. Once your browser extension has been added to your browser, go to any web content you want to save and press the eLink browser extension. Select the image that best represents the content or take a screenshot. You can also click skip if you don't want an image. Once you're done, click on the edit pencil to further customize or edit your link. Here you can update the image, text, or description and click save. At this point, your web link has been edited and added to your bookmark library. You'll see that by default, the bookmark has been added to the unsorted folder. You can click on this button and choose a different folder to place it in, or you can create a brand new folder. On the bottom of your bookmark, you'll see a home button that you can click that will open up your bookmark library. You'll also see an embed button that you can click on to embed that particular link to your website or blog. If you want to add this link to a new post, a post in draft state, or even a published post, you can click on Add to Post. Here you'll see a list of eLink posts you've created, and you can click on the checkmark box to add it to the content piece. If you need to create a brand new eLink, you can click on the Create New Post button. In this case, let's add it to the published post we were working on so you can see what it looks like. Let's go back to eLink and open up our post page. Locate your published eLink and click on the title of it. 
Here you'll see the web link we just added from the browser extension. If you want to drag, delete, or further edit content, you can come back here at any time. To learn more about eLink, go to our Bit Academy and watch our other videos to start bookmarking and creating content with web links in minutes.